Hello today's video we have the following content. Wow! Zhang Han's new drama received a lot of negative reviews right after it was aired, and the reasons for the negative reviews were surprisingly consistent. Throughout the summer, it seemed that only Bai and Shui Past became a truly popular drama, and even the costume idol dramas that have always been known for being popular in the summer season have lost their former glory. The long-awaited drama such as Longing 2, The Yuzhou Ji, Si Hai Chong Ming, and Si Fang Guan have all failed to meet their expectations and have failed one after another. But there are always people who are willing to face the gun Liu Guangyin. As soon as the show started, I casually flipped through the comments, and almost all of them were negative reviews the protagonist is old and ugly, the actors are too greasy, the plot is old and unoriginal, the male actor is greasy, the female actor is stiff, and the story is old-fashioned, the styling is rustic, and the acting is laughable. Li Guangyin unexpectedly pulled a lot of shit at the end of summer. The plot is nothing new, old-fashioned and brainless. Li Guangyin tells the story of a mercenary Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, who accidentally traveled to ancient times and became a concubine of the Xiangfu. After that, she went through many tests with the Xianming god of war Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, and finally went hand in hand. As soon as I heard the words travel and god of war, I could feel the rotten breath across the screen. As expected, the story unfolded as expected. The heroine accidentally fainted while performing a mission in modern times. After waking up, she found that she had possessed the body of Han Ziking, the concubine of the Xiangfu. The scene of Madame Han, played by Tan Limin, and her elder sister Han Zir, played by Guo Xing, joining forces to frame her emerged in her mind. Han Ziking has always been decisive and ruthless. Facing Madame Han, who was dressed luxuriously in front of her, and then looking at her disheveled appearance, she did not hesitate to strip Madame Han's clothes off, and then severely taught her a lesson. Interestingly, the servants around Mrs. Han saw their master being beaten and ran faster than Liu Xiong, and even locked the lady outside the Prime Minister's residence. It was really a world-shaking scene. Han Zier learned that her biological mother was beaten by her concubine sister, and she was afraid that she would be implicated, so she hid in the yard. No matter how her mother called out, she refused to open the door. What a good example of motherly love and filial piety. But the most unbearable thing is the plot after the male protagonist Jun Biao appeared. In front of everyone, Han Zir deliberately let Mr. Chen slander Han Ziking for being frivolous, so that Han Ziking's reputation would be ruined and she would not be able to participate in the selection of the fourth prince Jun Biao. But Han Ziking was rebellious by nature, and she went the other way. Not only did she not wash and dress up, but she also went directly in old clothes, showing that she didn't understand the rules at all in the selection ceremony. It just so happened that the fourth prince liked this type. No matter how the old ministers in the court dissuaded him, Jun Biao just left a sentence since this king has chosen her today, she is this king's princess, and then took Han Ziking away. Before leaving, he leaned over to Han Ziking and whispered, Han Ziking, are you willing to leave with this king? Brother, are you Wang Zetao? Why do you like to make a fuss so much, without considering the feelings of the audience at all? I suspect that the screenwriter may be a fan of Zhang Han, and specially tailored a costume version of the overbearing precedent role for him. Zhang Han's performance was quite enjoyable, but the audience was almost collapsed. The actor caused controversy, Zhang Han's face collapsed and his acting was greasy. Frankly speaking, today's audiences are quite tolerant of costume idol dramas. No matter how illogical the plot is, as long as the protagonist's appearance is pleasing to the eye, it can satisfy people. But it was the male lead's appearance that dragged down Liu Guangyin and disappointed the audience. Yes, it was Zhang Han. In Gentlemen of East District 8, his performance was too exaggerated, which had already caused widespread ridicule from the public. As the producer, screenwriter and male lead of the whole drama, Zhang Han used his strength to interpret a sentence know a little bit of everything, but not master any one thing. The 2.1 rating and the fate of being removed from the shelves fully reflect the quality of this drama, and Zhang Han's acting is extremely greasy and unbearable. He just wiped his mouth, but it was full of drama, his chin was slightly raised to 45 degrees, his body was slightly tilted, his eyes were full of provocation, and his forehead wrinkles were slightly frowned, as if silently declaring, Woman, you have successfully attracted my attention. Some uncomfortable salty pig hand scenes in the play have caused physiological disgust in the audience. As for whether Zhang Han's behavior was intentional or unintentional, we can't be sure. It was thought that after experiencing this incident, 
Zhang Han would be restrained, but after Liu Guanyin was broadcast, the audience found that he did not learn his lesson. Not only did his acting skill still make people feel greasy, but his face also became loose. Can you recognize who is the male lead based on this picture alone? It can be clearly seen that although the teacher has used a skin smoothing filter in the later stage, the Sichuan shaped wrinkles and eye bags on Zhang Han's face are still very conspicuous, and his face shape also looks uneven. Who can believe that this is the face of the male lead in a costume idol drama? After the camera is pulled away, it can be clearly seen that the skin on his neck has become loose and sagging, and the traces left by the years on Zhang Han are becoming more and more obvious. The scene in the play where he wears red pajamas is so ugly that it is unbearable to look directly at. The death top light highlights the deep part of Zhang Han's face, coupled with his blurred expression and limp sitting posture, I can't help but think that the fourth prince is seriously ill. Looking at the male second in the play, he looks like this. Three-dimensional facial features, deep eyebrows and eyes, and white hair flowing like a fairy. No way, Zhang Han actually dared to take on the role of the male lead. Of course, Zhang Han's cool acting has always been an indispensable part of him. The other princes secretly framed him and prepared to laugh at him. He opened his mouth slightly, narrowed his eyes, turned his head suddenly, and deliberately acted out a farce. When he pulled the heroine out, he shook his shoulders, stuck out his belly, took exaggerated steps, and walked swaggeringly. Alice, I know you're showing off, so you don't have to act so hard. No matter how ugly the shape is, no matter how loose the face is, Zhang Han's king temperament always arrives as expected. No matter what role he plays, he can interpret a kind of I am the most handsome confidence, no matter what the audience thinks. However, the heroine Zhu Zudin's acting skills are not very good. Influenced by the opponent actor, Zhu Zudin also seems to be a little greasy. The heroine learned that Han Zaiqing had been bullied and insulted since childhood, and her heart was full of anger. She took a deep breath, raised the corners of her mouth slightly, bit her lips tightly, and blinked her eyes constantly, which actually brought out a bit of the momentum of a domineering president. In addition, except for those scenes with large emotional fluctuations, Zhu Zudin's performance seems either dull or stiff, and she is completely a vase with only good looks but no acting skills. With such bad performances of the male and female protagonists, I am afraid that this drama will not be good. It has to be admitted that the audience's prejudice against costume idol dramas is not without reason. Li Guangyin further deepened the audience's stereotype. The plot is illogical, the conflict seems stiff and deliberate, and some plots are just like essays written by elementary school students. The beginning is inexplicable, the ending is without signs, and there are some incomprehensible house scenes in the middle. In short, the audience can't help but feel that their IQ is trampled on in the process of chasing the drama. The performance of the actors is disappointing, and both their looks and acting skills are unsatisfactory. The appearance of the male protagonist is hard to look at, and his performance is even more exaggerated and unconscious, which is embarrassing. Even if the female protagonist is more beautiful, she can't cover up the shortcomings in acting. Director, please open your eyes and carefully select the cast. Costume dramas are not suitable for everyone. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 